Popping a hive and looking in for the first time is kind of if you could pop a lid on New York City and peer inside, but if New York City is covered in gold and smells like heaven. And while it's been amazing, I lose half, if not all, my hives every single year. So that's how a lot of the work in this exhibition kind of became and is what it is now. We just met so many people and wonderful artists and people who love art and it was kind of the first time we felt like we were a part of a community. Today we're going to feature an organization that serves as a supportive network to artists and community members by building bridges among a variety of audiences in our area, from the University of Virginia to local churches. Join us as we visit New City Arts Initiative. Come on! New City Arts naming its gallery space the Welcome Gallery is very indicative of what type of organization it is. Hi Maureen! Hello! Hello. Welcome to Welcome! Good to see you, good, good to, to see, see you. you. What a great space! Yeah, thanks! I think that the more we come together, the more power we can create and unleash so that it kind of creates these new visions of what life together could look like. So New City Arts was founded um, for two sort of main purposes. The first was to support local artists in their careers by providing space for them to exhibit, to work, funding for their projects, community. Um, and the second was to use the arts to improve community development outcomes. Um, in our case, that has to do with housing stability. And what makes it unique is that it was actually founded by a group of artists and congregation members um, as a way to bridge the local church and the local arts community through programs for artists um, and by meeting the needs that they have for their vocations. Yeah, talk about the goals, some of the different goals of the organization. So we definitely want to increase cultural participation, bring new audiences into the arts. Right. Um, we do about 50% of our programming in the gallery and then about 50% in the community. As Welcome Gallery, we try to make our space really hospitable. You know, not everyone feels comfortable walking into a gallery. You might right. think you need to know something about the art. Um, or you might need to know like what to do, who to go with, that kind of thing. So we try to introduce people to one another when they're here. We try to do a lot of family-friendly programming so that it's a really intergenerational space. Well, and let's talk about these different programs. As you said earlier, 50% happen here mm -hmm. and the rest in the community. So. Yes. So 100% um, of our programming is free or low cost. Right. And we host um, anywhere from 40 to 50 public events a year. Um, the gallery itself uh, hosts a number of different events during the month. So the first Friday of every month, um, most galleries in town open for a First Friday Art Walk, right. which is free and open to the public. Um, outside of First Fridays, we have a co-working day every month where people can come make this their office for the day. Um, we do a craft event for kids ages five and under. And that's very popular. Yes, that's it's very popular. We give away uh, Tatley temporary tattoos. Uh, Grit Coffee sponsors it, so we have free coffee for the adults and snacks for the kids and adults. Yeah. Um, and then we make a craft that's inspired by the exhibit. Um, we have stroller parking. Um, we that do is so great. <laughs> yeah, we just started partnering with the library, so they help us choose a book inspired by the show. Mm -hmm. um, and then usually we have one other event um, every month in the gallery that's artist-led. So they come up with a workshop. We buy all the materials and invite the community to make something together. I think art's important because it gives us a window into the culture that we're not necessarily always associated with, and it allows us to see into a world that we all aspire to be in. I mean, it's really cool. Since the organization started, over 260 ar unique artists have had a chance to display their work in some form or fashion with New City Arts. Women, people of color, young people, older people, you just see a great diversity of art and we love coming every Friday to see that. Yeah. So the first opening, we had someone bring the artist corn that they had grown instead of flowers. Uh, most commonly, we uh, have artists whose families and friends surprise them by like flying across the country and s showing up to help them install, coming to the opening. We had a family, um, it was their third child, but they brought their 48-hour-old kid from the hospital to an opening because they really wanted to be there for the artist. Um, so we don't always know when those moments are happening, but when they are, it's this really beautiful picture of community. Yeah. 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 And, and you know, at every opening um, and every exhibit, um, artists are presenting work that they've created. Maybe they're sharing something about what they believe or how they see the world. And audiences also are coming in um, 
open and vulnerable to see or experience work. You know, we don't ask that everyone lo loves everything or everyone right. agrees with everything. Right. But that kind of uh, environment and that kind of exchange creates these really beautiful moments. Yeah, and then yeah. talk about your artist in residency program because yes. that's really important. Yeah, we've had about 20 resident artists over the last eight years. Currently, we have two resident artists um, over the course of a year, so they get free studio space for half the year, a small stipend to help with materials and parking costs, and the, their residency ends in either a solo exhibition or if they're a musician, a big community concert. And it's a really wonderful way for us to kind of be co-workers with artists, you yeah. know, like we're working and yeah. sharing space together. Um, we hope that during the residency we connect them to other artists and audiences that they may not have connections to prior to the residency. And then when they leave the residency, they have something to add to their CV. It's a really rewarding program for staff because we feel like every day when we walk in, we're reminded of and connected to our mission and hope for the community. I think part of the gift of the residency was we'd be working on something and then we'd just say, is this actually a good idea? Because I kind of like going down this, <laughs> you know, this trail. I mean, just kind of, it was just so much less isolating and opened up new space for us creatively. And we had not experienced that uh, previously. Mm -hmm. Now we're in Charlottesville full time. I get this time to myself outside of my home, outside of my usual, just places that I go to where I can sit and focus on my work. I'm also excited to, to be in this network of artists, which is just, just huge to be a part of that. I haven't really grown my network here in Charlottesville. So being able to, to instantly be a part of that is something that I'm very much looking forward to as well. For the first five years, New City Arts was housed in the Haven. And that was where the residency formed. So it, it started out as this collaborative program that was intended to um, support artists and also be in existence and sort of co-working with the guests at the Haven. When the Haven started their housing first programs, a lot of guests were moving into rental units and they didn't have like a bed to sleep on. Right, right. So they'd be sleeping in tents inside. Uh, people would donate canned food, but they might not have a can opener. And a lot of the places, because the cost of living in Charlottesville is so high, just didn't feel personal and right. kind of like their own space. So we received a creative placemaking grant from Art Place America to um, use a stipend to purchase things they needed, furnishings, as well as uh, commission art or buy art as decorations that reflected their sort of personal style. I mean, that's what we do when we move into housing, right? Like yeah. the first thing we do is like hang a photo, paint a wall, and we serve about 30 families or individuals a year. And it's supported now through an art auction we do at the Haven every January. Right. Every family gets about a thousand to $1,200 stipend. Okay. Talk about soup. The sure. Soup yeah. events. <laughs> yeah. So the soup was actually founded by one of our resident artists, Victoria Long. And what it is, is a huge community dinner and artists present at the dinner for projects they need funding for. The audience who's there votes for the one that they want to fund. We have donations and a match at the actual dinner, and then we present the winner with a soup ladle and a pot full of cash. Um, That's great. <laughs> yeah, That's we've, great. we've given away 28,000 in grants, and we host it twice a year now for about 100 folks. Um, we do a ticket lottery so that everyone has a chance to enter for a ticket because right. it's a really popular event. Right. But for now, soup, um, gives away about a $3,000 grant twice a year. It was so fun because you're meeting people that you have not seen in any other walk of life and you're conversing and eating this great soup. They are just an awesome addition to the art scene. We can learn and we can study, but art brings us together in a, in a way that's so beautiful and so meaningful. And whether it's through music or poetry, or art creation, I think it's just a marvelous way to grow. So you all fund artists in the community. Mm. How are you funded? Yeah, so um, over 50% of our funding comes from individuals, so monthly or annual donations that are made through our website or um, in the mail. Uh, we host a big annual dinner every spring. The commissions in the gallery are really low, and one of the reasons why we made that decision is so that we're able to support all sorts of artists who are doing installations, um, especially emerging artists whose work might be priced on the lower side. We really don't depend on commissions in the gallery to actually help us 
raise money. And any money that is raised from those commissions goes right back into programs for local artists. So it's really a community invested organization in space. You're also part of Creative Mornings. Mm -hmm. So tell us just a little bit about that. We host a monthly breakfast lecture series uh, through Creative Mornings and um, it's all volunteer led. Um, artists present about their work. Um, so New City Arts is a partner on that project alongside The Bridge and a ton of other arts organizations that have hosted those talks. So your very first opening you had 500 people. Yeah. In a recent opening you had about 530, 40 people. Yeah. Where do you see yourselves in the future? Yeah, so for us this space has been um, a really wonderful space for the programming that we want to create with local artists. I think in the future we want to create more programming led by artists um, in this space, potentially over community meals. We find that um, as people share food with one another, they're also uh, really prone to share ideas and for us yeah. growing our imaginations is um, a really wonderful thing especially as we stretch those muscles we're able to um, practice empathy um, and learn from one another so any programming that really is kind of based on that premise it, we're really interested in creating and that initiative part of our name uh, means that we want to be responsive to needs in our community as well as programming that artists bring us that they feel like would benefit artists in our community and make it possible for them to live in Charlottesville. I feel like giving these bees a voice has been really different and just exciting and it feels like I'm doing something really important here so I hope I can challenge people to view their relationship with nature a little bit differently but also have some hope. You walk into the gallery, you see signs that say welcome, you see smiling faces, they have events for families, they have events for young professionals. It's truly a space where you can feel welcome uh, to encounter the arts in whatever way is comfortable for you.